Kaido. Nevas getting the blackout treatment here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake. This is a grudge match. Has stepped Ricardo. in on a day's notice in place of Juan's original opponent, who he was cornering. This is an opportunity to rewrite history, avenge the events of October. Ricardo Rivas was fired up at weigh-ins and recognizes the opportunity in front of him. Ricardo's only other opponent, Alexandre Bartolut, is another highly talented Empire MMA product. His record is certainly not indicative of the fighting spirit inside this 23-year-old as he aims to earn the rights to a victory over his past foe tonight, John. I love it, an opportunity for revenge, you know, and to do it again on short notice, be willing to take that step. You gotta respect that. I mean, you just, you, you really do because you're taking the chance, you know? I guess it, if you win the first time around and you say, I'll, I'll step in on short notice, I'll pick on that guy again. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate that. So I love the history between these two. And as you said, they were fired up yesterday. We'll see how it plays out here tonight. No amateur record on file for one Ricardo Rivas. But again, got to assume he's gone to the trenches, really fine-tuned his style in that amateur career. Wish, wish we had it. <laughs> <laughs> how you, you assume, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you know. maybe he didn't. Maybe he just went right into pros. You don't know. Certainly calm and relaxed there. Final preparation underway. And, you know, he's got the knowledge of what Juan Trujillo brings into the octagon, right? He's been with him before. He now recognizes the areas he needed to fix from October. I imagine that every day since then, he's been addressing those weaknesses and closing those holes in his game. Absolutely. Looked like he got a little Vaseline in the right eye there. Let's hope that doesn't come problem. You can see him kind of shaking yeah. his head a little bit. Like, Not you got to be that. kidding me. Okay, yeah, they're trying to work that out. I mean, I'm already a short notice opponent. You want to disadvantage me further? <laughs> it's Trujillo's cousin working as the cut woman tonight, putting the Vaseline on, you know, kind of <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my bad. Did I get something in your eye there? Sorry. Oh, oh. oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this, hey, these are those little things that happen. Nothing's perfect in the fight. And hopefully he can block that out, not let it bother him, get the focus dialed back in. You can see the tail of the tape. 1-0 oh is Juan Trujillo. 0-2 is Ricardo Rivas. 12 months separate these competitors, but Trujillo will celebrate a bit of a height and reach advantage. No adjective could accurately capture the essence of El Patron. Juan Trujillo's career is occurring at a blistering pace, notably notching six victories in 2019. A few years on the shelf as a result of the pandemic didn't deter the 24-year-old Colombian as he made waves with a first-round stoppage of Ricardo Hivas in October of last year. Now that the same challenge is presented again, John, can Juan Trujillo make lightning strike twice? That's kind of the challenge, right? Because you kind of had the perfect result the first time out, right? So on the one hand, you can say, like, oh, well, I just got to go do what I did last time. But that's not the way fights work. I mean, they think they don't play out exactly the same. That's why there's so many times we look at a fight on paper and we say, well, I think I know how this is going to play out. And it plays out completely differently. So some of that could be a little bit difficult for you to say, well, how do I recreate exactly what went right that first time around? You also wonder, too, I mean, obviously this was a late note to switch up. So, you know, sometimes it, could there have been lengthy preparation that he didn't really put as much into, but not the case in this situation because it was just day's notice. But it is difficult to go out and recreate exactly what happened the first time around. And might be impossible to predict if, if it's going to be the same approach from Ricardo Hivas. Hivas operating on no fight camp, maybe not the best cardio gas tank, so he could come out significantly faster than he did in October and try and maximize the moments where he's at 100%. You know, I, I, I would probably, you know, holding that first round victory the first time around, uh, obviously you dance confidently as you do there, but put, put a pace on him early. You know, maybe say, hey, remind him psychologically of what happened last time out and why it happened. So uh, if I'm Trujillo, I'm probably trying to push the pace early. We'll see if he Juan Trujillo, very decorated amateur career, seven and two, with two submissions and two knockouts, ending his amateur career on a six fight win streak. Once again, the tail of the tape brought to you by Burger King. 12 months separate these two. Bit of a heightened reach for one El Patron, Juan Trujillo.
Not to take anything away from the Black Panther, Zamir Catano, but when he was matched up with Trujillo back in 2018, he was able to finish Juan in 30 seconds, but El Patron was knocked down in fight camp four days before that and still fought. So not, not, to, not the wisest choice. Not the wisest choice. He, he told me he was like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I would say yes. You probably should not have done that. Juan Trujillo dialed in in this rematch. Ricardo Rivas, opportunity of a lifetime. El Patron stings over the lead hook. I love that stare down there. He was leaning forward. It's been intensity between these two all week since the fight was put together. Big swing and a miss right there from Rivas. Half kick from El Patron. Stinging the legs early. Yep. Oh! Wow. El Patron goes airborne. Now Ricardo Rivas trying to get some grappling going, John. Beautiful moment there. Trujillo slips oh. around to the back. Flattened right. out. Again. Pressing early. Oh, right hand comes under. This could be true. Okay, pulls it away there. Boy, he snuck that under fast. Juan Trujillo fights at a lightning quick pace Flats once again. Out, yeah. Rivas in a lot of trouble right now. Just covering up, not addressing his referee. He's going to take a close look. Trying to buck up. Now he's making the adjusted exposure. Oh. Once again, right arm under. He hasn't got that other arm to finish it, but that now is Now makes deep. the adjustment. He's going to get the squeeze on this. Right arm is under. He's Ricardo Rivas. I think this could be just a matter of time here. That's oh! El Patron done in one. The success continues as he solidifies the victory over Ricardo Rivas. Yeah, and like I said, I think, you know, having the first round victory the first time around, I think the key is to go out there and put the pace on early, remind him of what happened. And he did exactly that. Put the pressure in that beautiful grappling sequence as we watch the replay here. Got him to the back. And, and then the adjustments that he made here on the choke. You see here, defending well, defending well. Look at the left arm, comes free, it sneaks back up, makes the adjustment to sink it in tighter. And, uh, you know, at that point, you kind of just knew it was a matter of time. With that body triangle, I mean, every area of Ricardo's body is experiencing pain. He has no choice. A lot of love between these two competitors. And, of course, you know, like, like we talked about earlier, so much respect for Ricardo stepping in and uh, keeping this bout alive and El Patron's ability to compete. Well, you see, exactly. I mean, you nailed it right there. It's like, hey, if you don't step up, I don't get a chance to compete. I don't get a chance to add to my record. I don't get a chance to get paid. There goes a two-month fight camp, potentially. That's it. So for him to come in and say, listen, man, you know, thank you for doing that. I really respect you. And, you know, I know it's unfortunate. That's two first-round losses in a row to me. We probably don't need to revisit this. But, hey, maybe come train with us sometime. I'll be happy. You know, this, this chapter is definitely behind us. Um, and thank you for doing that. Iron sharpens iron. And that can't be more true for one El Patron. Juan Trujillo leaping up to the cage to his fans watching ringside. Lot of ability and he's got a... Uh, <laughs> Is my man a, a little celebratory smoke there? I don't know if that's uh, allowed. I don't know the legality of it, but yeah, I, he just dropped it. I don't know. I think he just dropped it down. He's like, I don't know, what, what are you talking about? And the, and the guy tried to hand it back to him. He's like, no, I'm disposing of evidence, sir. Okay. Yeah. I'm disposing of evidence. No time to hit the bloink like after a first round submission. El Patron advances to 2 and 0, oh, keeping the 100% finish streak intact. That brings his total stoppages to six overall in his career. Quite impressive for a guy that's only 24. Great work there. Got it done early and. Uh, Respect between these two, both of them celebrating their teams. And uh, you like to see that. Great sportsmanship. First flag for MMA Colombia. They got an amazing facility in Medellin. Several stories, tall, weight rooms, mats, cage, anything that you could possibly want as a young uh, talent in the game here in Latin America, you want to be at MMA Colombia. And their head guy who owns it, Damien, was a doctor. It's wild. Put aside his practice to open up a gym. Props to him. <laughs> Family's real proud. Different type of practice. <laughs> <laughs> he chose a different type of practice. That's it. That's it.